Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kim and today I'm going to talk to you about how to make tape resist paintings with your preschooler. To do this activity, you're going to need some kind of heavy paper or you could even use a nice canvas. You're going to need some masking tape and today I'm going to use this colored masking tape just because it shows up a little bit easier on the camera. And you're going to need some kind of paint and you're going to want paint uh, to kind of match your um, whatever kind of paper or canvas you're using. So I'm just using this heavyweight paper and I would need to use for this one, like a, a watercolor would be fine. I can use some other things, but watercolor would be fine for this one. If you're gonna do a tape resist painting on a canvas, like this canvas, you would wanna use instead something like an acrylic. So any kind of paint you wanna use uh, would be fine, just as long as it matches your, uh, whatever you're using as your canvas. This one is just heavyweight paper. And you might be thinking, okay, so wait a minute, if you put tape on heavyweight paper and then you take it off, you might accidentally rip up some of your paper and you're right, that is a risk. And I'm gonna show you a way you can combat that. Uh, if you were gonna put some tape down on a piece of paper, I'm gonna just rip a piece off, and you knew you needed to lift that tape up later and you did not wanna damage your paper, one thing you can do, it's a little trick that I learned when I was um, in art school, one thing you can do is take that tape, put it on your um, pants, this works really nice if you're wearing jeans, and then pull it up and put it down again, just press it in and pull it up again. And you're gonna notice some of your little fiber fuzzes are gonna stick to that tape. Even if you feel like your pants are totally clean, um, they're perfect in every kind of way, some little fiber fuzz is gonna come off. And it doesn't really damage your pants. Um, so I've got this tape, it's now easily gonna go down and be able to pull back up later. And for this one, I'm just gonna put the tape down in just a, in just a random geometric pattern. Um, you can be more methodical in your laying down, I'll show you some examples in a little bit, but for now, I'm just gonna do these kind of random um, lines just to show you the process. I'm going to go ahead and place two more. Okay, and again I'm going to pull this down the line, bring it back up one more time just to preserve the paper. I've got that one um, and one more. crumpled the tape up. That is another risk with masking tape. So this part, um, you could let your preschooler help you with this part. Um, if you are working with really long pieces of tape like this and you knew you wanted a really long piece of tape design or something very specific, well go ahead and do it um, kind of for them and then let them do the painting part. Um, but if you can, if you're, if you're not making something very um, specific, you're just wanting them to have some fun, um, it, it would be really interesting for them to lay the tape on themselves and kind of realize, okay, that's the sticky side and then pl placing it down. Um, it just kind of depends on what kind of activity you want to do. Okay, once you have your tape laid out in the pattern that you like, you'll want to um, go ahead and let your preschooler paint it. And for a preschooler, I like to use like bigger brushes, kind of like this one, because it's, it's a little easier for their hands to hold, especially um, especially as the younger they are. Um, but for me today, I'm just gonna use this one that's slightly thinner because it's a little easier for my hand. Um, and I'm just gonna put some paint in and let it roll over. You can paint over the tape. Your preschooler could paint over the tape. It won't matter. You might wanna also notice, right, your preschooler might not be the best about staying on the paper, and that's okay. If you're working on a surface that you don't want paint to accidentally get onto, um, you'll want to put down some newsprint, um, which you might see that I've got down today. So you'll just let them fill in the painting however they like. Let the whole thing get done. Um, whatever colors they choose, it's, it might not be, um, you might limit it to one color or just a couple colors. If you're working with, um, you know, ideas about primary colors, you could limit to that. Or you're working with mixing colors, you might say, okay, we're only going to use um, blue and yellow today and see what happens when they meet each other, um, which of course would make green and then you can talk about mixing colors. Um, however you kind of want to roll that, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, when you're done, you're going to need to let this dry fully 
before you take off the tape. And when you take off the tape, you're gonna see the big, that kind of final reveal, which I think is also really exciting. Definitely let your preschooler be a part of that process. Um, maybe if they can't rip the tip off themselves, um, let them at least see you ripping off the tape so they can see that, that reveal, because it, it's really exciting. Um, it's especially really neat if you're using a different color paper. Um, so if you have like a piece of black paper, for example, and you're painting on like acrylics, and then you rip the, paint off, the tape off at the end, um, you're gonna get those beautiful black lines behind the colors. Uh, and that's really exciting to see. Um, okay, so I've got an example to show you that is already done. It's already dry. It's one I made into a card. So I've used heavy paper again, and I just painted this top part. You can see a bit of piece of tape here, which would be the back, just to kind of protect the back side. Um, and this is a way you could do this project as a giftable, which I think is really fun. Um, and I'm just going to pull off a piece here very slowly. So I did not do my tape trick on this one. Let's see. All right. All right, that's good. All right, you can kind of see it's starting to get those beautiful clean lines. This one is ripping a little bit. Nope. When you're ripping these tape off, um, it really does help to rip them off in the order that you laid them down. So I just ripped off um, this bar, but I had played this bar on last, so that was a little bit uh, challenging there where they met. So you can pull these off to kind of reveal your design. You can see here it got under a, a little bit. Um, that's okay. And when these are ripped off all the way, you're going to have a beautiful uh, card face. I want to show you another card that I'd already finished because um, it gives you a good idea of a variation you can do. So here's another um, card I made using the same heavyweight paper um, in the tape resist process. But before I painted onto this one, I took a white crayon and I drew some different geometric lines. So you can see here, those geometric lines I drew in. When I painted on top of it, right, the place where those white crayons were, um, it didn't accept the paint. So when it dried, you have these this different kind of patterning going on. And that's a really interesting and fun kind of thing to, to do with your preschooler also. Um, you could do um, like secret message painting or secret image painting, right? You draw something on the paper and have them cover it with some watercolors and they'll see their, that secret image or that secret message you've left for them revealed. And that's also really exciting. Um, here's another one that I've done um, just to show you, you could do this with some words, which do end up looking blocky, right? Because paint uh, tape is rectangular. Um, but you put different words in place and when we get into this kind of part where you're putting in different words, this is where I find it gets really nice. Um, it's kind of a really nice project to do um, as something you might want to gift to, um, you know, the grandparents or something like that. And I'm going to show you one that's really special to me. Um, and it's this one and it says love and it's on, it's a small canvas. You can see this is a canvas. This is one that my um, son made when he was about a year and a half old, when he was in his preschool class. So they had all the kids make one of these. Of course, the, the preschool teachers um, prepared the canvas for them, and then they set the kids up to paint. And when they gave this to us, they also gave us a little photograph of our, of our kid uh, painting on this canvas. So this one's very special to me. I keep it in my um, office because um, I like to see this all the time. Um, and it's a really nice little giftable. I also think this is a really fun activity to do just on a rainy day, just to fill some time. And um, you might be thinking, okay, but I don't really keep canvas and heavy paper around my house all the time. And I'll tell you another option you can use, and that is just a paper plate. If you have um, just some old paper plates left over from a picnic or some other kind of gathering, you can do the same process on those. And this is one that I've kind of prepared. Paint's not totally dry. So I can pull this off. Now this is ripping because I didn't let the paint dry. Um, you can do the same process just on a paper plate as a fun rainy day activity. So a lot of really cool uses here. Um, just something really fun to do um, as an activity. Um, it's something you could gift. Uh, you could do the secret message uh, kind of writing with the white crayons. Um, a lot of different variations here. And that is the tape resist paintings. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you have a chance to try it out because it is a lot of fun.
Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.